Hey guys, it's Gretchen, and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, I'm a little nervous for, but I really want to do it. We're just going to do it. We're just, we're just going to go ahead and do it. Today, we are changing my rook for the first time. I'm a little nervous just because if you saw my video about going to a pink theme, there was kind of a change and fail there. And so I'm, I'm a little scared to change any new Pearsons that I've never changed before, meaning my Rook. That one was the, the day, Doth, whichever one you want to call it. But my hope is that with the Rook, because it's a little bit more visible than the day, Doth, that it'll be a little bit more easy to change. But I guess we'll see. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of a bump on my rook right now. But my hope is that changing the jewelry from what it was initially pierced with will help clear that up because the jewelry I have is a better quality than this. This is surgical steel. Just because it says surgical doesn't mean that it's great. Um, so my hope is that because this is titanium, that my ear will like it better. So yeah, but I've already gone ahead and cleaned it. It had some crusties on it and it did bleed. I don't think I've ever had a Pearson bleed as much as my Rook has and that's mostly because of the crusties. But before I actually get into changing this and, and I will put a timestamp somewhere in case you're impatient and gonna be one of those people that have to comment, she actually starts changing a Pearson at blah blah blah. I thought I'd give a little, 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 little backstory on cleaning my Pearsons real fast. For Pearsons that need a little bit of extra help and where H2Ocean doesn't cover it, I use this Provon antimicrobial lotion soap. Got this from Amazon. Someone recommended this to me on a Pearson video that I did last summer. Someone commented, made it, said this is what they use. I've been using it. Wow. I really noticed a difference, especially with my day stuff. It cleared up any bump that I had. This one, it's still taking a little bit longer for this bump to clear up, but it's not like a bump like what I had with this person. So if you're in the market for a good, soft, non-harsh soap, um, for any of your piercings, I recommend this. I'll link where I got it from in the description below in case you want to purchase some yourself. But I just cleaned my rook with this soap. I put some on a Q-tip, just went around each end, um, then took another Q-tip and then rinsed it off. And so it's clean right now here. But I do have jewelry, which came from Urban Body Jewelry. I really like Urban Body Jewelry. You have to dig a little bit to get good quality jewelry, but this is titanium. Um, it is three eighths of an inch in length, so it is a little bit longer, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a longer one. It's got like diamond looking stones on either side of cubic zirconium, but I am hoping to do a video where I change all my piercings again to like a clear theme. The pink one, I wasn't feeling too much. I like those stones because they were like pink opals, but I wasn't feeling it. So we're gonna go to clear. I've always liked the diamond look, so yeah, there's that. It is 16 gauge. There it is in its bag and it is in a sealed thing, so it's never come, it hasn't come out of this. Um, I am, however, still gonna clean it with some H2Ocean and extra precaution. So I'm gonna take it out and clean it before I take this out because I don't want there to be any lull time in between changing them. I just got really, really like, lost my. Oh. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy out. Break the seal. My hands are clean, by the way. When I clean this, I wash my hands. Here is the jewelry. Very tiny. Da da da. I'm going to put it on this. And I'm going to spray it. I need to get more H2 Ocean. I'm also going to go ahead and unscrew the ball so that it's ready and ready to go. Yeah. All right, so that is all done. I guess now is the time to take this one out. Guess I'll zoom y'all in. Well, you won't be able to see it too well. I do have a mirror right here. Um, just a compact mirror from one of my makeup products. So 
sorry for the close up. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna use. Ooh, we're looking a little, looking a little gross right now. I'm gonna go ahead and feel for which ball needs to be unscrewed because I have no idea. Oh, okay. All right, so the ball is out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Eh, okay. There it is. It's out. Alrighty, we're gonna clean the area real fast because a little, a little, a little gnarly. And whereas that one was done from the bottom up, I'm actually going to go from top down. Well, that was easier than anticipated. Really helps to go top down. Now it'll probably take me 5,000 years to screw the ball in, but it's in. Oh, a little blood. Hello, it's me. Blow the hell, what the hell. Helly, helly, helly. Ooh, it's a bloody mess in there. Now let's try this again. Maybe this is why people do it from the bottom up. It's probably a little bit easier to screw a ball in. All right, so screwing the ball in is taking a little bit longer than anticipated, so, um, yeah, bear with me. So five million years later and I finally have the bowl in. Um, so yeah, that was changing my rook for the first time. At least I got the actual changing of the Pearson on camera. I did not get the screwing of the ball on camera. Um, I did have to go into my bathroom and get a bigger mirror with a ring light around it in order to see it. And y'all would have been sitting here for a really long time if I filmed all of that, and even if I sped it up, would have been a long time. It is a little bit difficult to get the ball screwed in and everything if you do it from the top down, but if you insert it from the bottom up, it's probably a little bit easier, but inserting the drawer from the bottom up, I was finding to be a little bit more difficult. Far easier to see the top hole feeding it through that way. Um, that's kind of cool that it's one of those Pearsons though where you can do that. You can pick whichever way you prefer. Um, all I know is I won't be changing this for a while. <laughs> Much like the day stuff whenever I get around to actually changing it. Cause I did buy new jewelry for it, but we'll see how that goes. So this was the first piece of jewelry to be changed to my new clear theme. Um, the others will come at a later date. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Go on down there, hit that subscribe button wherever it may be because I would really, really appreciate it. And until next time. Bye guys. <laughs>